Under the federal guidelines, students had to take certain items for their lunches, even if they weren't going to eat them. And officials here say that led to students just throwing the food away. So until the new program is in place, Penn Trafford High School has been bringing in pizzas for the kids. The lunchroom is packed with Penn Trafford High School kids eating their lunches, but the line to buy food, pretty empty. I don't buy lunch because I prefer the choices that I could have from home, and the food here doesn't look very appetizing to me. I, I see the food, too, uh, and it's, it's not high quality, but um, and that's one of the reasons why I pack my lunch. In fact, less than a quarter of the high school student body buys lunch. Students cite the National School Lunch Program as the reason for the poor food. The program provides money to districts who follow strict rules about which items can be served and the portion size of those items. So the students brought the issue to light the way kids do. I was notified by another student uh, about I think a Twitter page called Gross PT Lunches. They also collected 500 student signatures. PT's principal said administrators had already been in talks to opt out of the federal program. They would lose $100,000 in funding, but believe they would recoup that with increased lunch sales. Students who receive free and reduced lunches wouldn't be affected. At Monday night's board meeting, board members made it official. It's nice to see everyone come together and make what's better for the majority of the students. Changes to the school lunch program will not take effect until this upcoming school year, which coincidentally is the same time all the renovations here in the cafeteria should also be completed. In Penn Township, Westmoreland County, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.